What's up guys, welcome back to yet another video. I'm Cypher and for today's project I built a war driver which I explained to you all about it in this video and like always share the journey with you. If you wonder what is war driving, war driving is the act of searching for Wi-Fi networks while moving, often done with a laptop or a smartphone and the device I built. We simply record the existing Wi-Fi networks along with their coordinate and other information and we can upload them on Wiggle.net. Wiggle.net is a website that consolidates location and other data on wireless network around the world. Now let's talk about the hardware and components I used. First, the brain of the project is an ESP32 which does all the heavy lifting for us. For the display, I used a SSD1306 OLED display. After pieces of information are captured, we need to store them somewhere, so I put a micro SD card slot on the design. Data brokers sell your information to scammers and anyone else who may want to target you. Your full name, email, home address, your relatives, it's all out there. That's why I've been using Aura, the sponsor of today's video. Aura shows me which data brokers are selling my information and automatically submit opt-out requests for me. With Aura, I get other features like antivirus, VPN, password management, identity theft insurance, and more without having to download several different apps. It's really easy to set up, and the best of all, I get everything at one affordable price. You can go to aura.com slash cyphertech to start your two-week free trial, also linked below in the description. Now let's continue building our war driver. Then we have the flash and reset buttons as well as a navigation button. Also, I put a three-way switch on the design for future users. To receive the GPS coordinate, I use the GPS No 6M module. Then we have some SMD components, a lithium battery, a switch for turning the power on and off, a USB female Type-C connector, and a lithium cell battery connector. And here's the final PCB design, like always, I use my favorite, the Altium Designer. To be fair, this design is not what it should be, and it has many flaws, but for now, it will do the job. In this part, I used the Blender software and did a quick design for our war driver. It contains two parts, a bottom and top section. After a few fail attempts, I got where I want to get, and I think it looks cool. But it's not good enough yet. I sprayed it with a grey color for both top and bottom sections. Now that we get rid of the boring white filament color, we have a grey boring color. So let's change it. I used some tape to cover the parts that I didn't want to color and gave it a good yellow color. I have been using it in a few places and I wanted to it cover more range, so I decided to add an antenna to it. I designed a little holder to attach to the bottom section of the case. But to be able to connect the antenna to the ESP32, we need another ESP32 version. So I choose the ESP32S, it has the same pinout as the WROOM32 and has an external antenna connector.
Now let's see how it works. In this project on the display we have a little character that changes according to the amount of detected Wi-Fi networks. Also we have two icons that shows us the number of available satellite and the other one shows the amount of available Wi-Fi networks in the area. If we hold the navigation button, we can see the available Wi-Fi networks along with their channel number and encryption type. Now let's see how it handles the high amount of Wi-Fi networks at the same time. I used my beacon spammer so we could see if it's okay with it or not. You see, the NRF box detected a high amount of traffic as soon as I powered up the beacon spammer and the war driver showed the number of detected networks without problem. Good to know. Also, I replaced the antenna with a piece of wire and it did better. <laughs> 